everyone, this is Dee. I'm here with a project share. I'm doing a round robin swap with um, Virginia1468 and Olivia Hernandez here on YouTube. And how it works, because there's three of us, um, I'm sending to Virginia. Virginia's sending to Olivia, and Olivia's sending to me. So we call it a round robin. And um, each one of us picked what we wanted to receive, whether it was an altered bag or a wall hanging. And um, I've never done a wall hanging, so um, Virginia agreed to let me alter a bag for her. And so this is what I came up with. I'm going to add a slideshow at the end of my video um, so that you can see each process that I went through to make it. So I took a bag from Dollar Tree. They sell um, those um, cloth type grocery bags at Dollar Tree that are this size and they have a little handle and they're in the kids section. So what I did was no, I'm sorry. These are not the one from Dollar Tree, right? No, because this is white. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take that back. So um, I'll try to edit this out if I can. So I bought this one at Hobby Lobby. So this one is a canvas bag. And it's maybe like a 4x4 four four or a 4x5 size. And it was white in color. And I took some Lindy's Spray. And it is one of their um, metallic type pink sprays. I want to say it's called Cotton Candy, I think. And so I sprayed it pink and I heat set it. And then I took this layer in the background. I took a vintage curtain and I wrapped it as my first layer over the pink. And then my next um layer was this beautiful um venice fringed lace that i got from crafty nita and then i took some rosette trim this beautiful one from one little dreamers store and then my next layer is this beautiful cotton um wedding trim from my store which is elegant embellishments and I wrapped it all the way around over the vintage curtain and then this part here I cut the top layer of the trim which I put on the top as a border to the bag and this is what it looks like these little circles and I took a mold from my store that um, looks like this. I showed this in my last top. And I made these pink little pennants and I spelled out the word love. And then I edged it with some red acrylic paint to bring out the um, lettering on the mold piece. And then I finished off the edging with this beautiful infused beads it's a uh, like a really light lilac flat back bead and I just put it all the way around and then for the handle I use these infused flower bead strands and then I made you know I'm into this making my own flower cluster arrangement so these are all Wild Orchid Craft flowers that come from Europe, made via Thailand. <laughs> and I bought these through Crafty City um, that's owned by Archana Joshi here on Facebook. And I just made this beautiful flower cluster with these Wild Orchid Craft. And I just used some whites, um, some pinks, creams, and then this beautiful dark one. And I really hope that Virginia loves this. It was a labor of love and it was just so much fun to make. And I'm sending her some other goodies, which I'm not going to show so that it will be a surprise for her. So I thank you all for watching 
and I will talk to you all soon. I have some projects that I do want to make this week, so hopefully I'll have another video up sometime this week. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Stay tuned for the um, slideshow. Bye.